What's going on guys? Thank you for tuning in to Man Cave TV and today we are going to have another episode of Rainbow Six Siege which is um, a, a group of episodes that I'm going to be doing of uh, Road to Ranked Play. Right now I think I am at level 3 or 4 and you start in casual and then you work your way to Ranked Play. So it's probably going to be about 10 to 20 episodes. So think this is the second episode so we're gonna get started on that let's see don't know what kind of mode we are going to be playing but yeah be kind of like my journey to um what do you call it my journey to ranked play because ranked play if you don't know what that is that's where a lot of the big players play like the the professionals that do the tournaments for siege um i also recruit right now is what i am only on you can get a lot more uh classes different players i do really like recruit even though i've i'm only using recruit right now i do like it so because you do you get a little bit of everything because sometimes the other ones when you get armor kind of holds you back and stuff oh i don't want this one there we go that's good kind of holds you back when you get the armor but there's a bunch of things that um you can do um the one guy i think you did tack tack i don't i'm not sure how you pronounce that um but he has like a standing machine gun that you can stand and use that's awesome that works really well um then there's a guy that um can breach through anything um that that's very helpful and then there's also one that you can throw like poisonous gas so those are also very good like right now um i'm going to put a barricade up for this doorway and that's just awesome i think this is really cool and then you can double barricade it with these metal ones to make it a little bit better i don't think you can do that with concrete though but yeah, if you guys have not played this game yet, I just, just a few little tips that I'm telling you guys, but also, there is friendly fire. I found that out the hard way on some of the other times I've played, is that you can do friendly fire, so that is not very good. Well, it makes it realistic, it's just a little tricky. But, you know, the first few times I did play, I thought that, um... You were, had that disadvantage if you were the defenders. But the more I play it, the more I found that you actually... I feel like you have the disadvantage if you are the attackers. Because you don't always know where the objective is. Because it does move all the time. So, the defenders, you kind of... You just have to stand your ground. And I almost think that's easier than not necessarily knowing where you need to go. So, hopefully we have a good round. And, uh, let's see. I think there's still, like, see that gun there they had up? That's pretty sick. But yeah, I think they're still searching to see if they can find us. That's something that they have in this game. Use drones. We'll be the attackers next round, so you can see that. But yeah, I think we still have a few minutes till, a few seconds till that's done. But yeah, I, I would say always check the ceilings and floors. Now, this is a concrete floor. So, you don't have to worry about it this time. Oh yeah, this guy, he dropped armor, so I can pick up more armor. So that's really cool. Yeah, there's an enemy tagged above us, so they're going to be coming through the roof. Guy coming through the door. Don't see him yet. Oh, flashbang. I'm a little surprised I survived that. Flashbangs, they're very powerful. Okay, good. Someone is patching him up. Oh, get down. Oh, man. 
He got me while I was reloading. I thought I got a hit on him though, at least. One friendly operator remaining. Maybe, I'm not sure. Yeah, that was a tough one. Yeah, I wasn't used to using like a shotgun or something. And I thought I chose something that wasn't like a DMR or whatever you call it. I think this LMG that I'm going to be using is probably one of my favorites though. I think you only get it though when you're attacking because I can't, I can never find it when I'm defending, which is very frustrating. You're the thermite guy with his arms crossed. That's one that can blow through almost anything. So once you unlock that, it is a really good one to use because it really gives you that advantage. And then this is the thing I was talking about before. It's a little like RC car. And you go in and it helps you find where they are. Like we were in the basement the last round, but they do move it around. So it doesn't mean you're always going to be there. Um, I think I kind of am trapped. Good work. So, container has been located. okay, so we didn't find where the objective is. That's good. And once you find the objective, it's very important to hold Y and, and tag the enemy. And I don't think I got him. Oh yeah, tagging the enemies and, t and finding the objective are very helpful. So you hold Y to tag them. And a lot of times, um, I will be... Oops, wrong button. I see people, they just don't tag, which is very helpful, so I highly recommend that. Yeah, I knew that was a little risky. I wasn't quite sure, like, how to go around from behind. But yeah, he was standing behind one of those shields that you can deploy, and those things are, yeah, they'll they'll definitely keep you safe. I found that out. Friendly, last operator standing. And this this is definitely a tough one. I'm not used to this map, but I don't know if I've played this one before. And I definitely want to change the weapon that I have. Uh, short to medium range. I think I'll stick with that one. I know I think I've used it before, so I'll just stick with it. Yeah, so they got two rounds they won two rounds i don't know if you have to win three or four i can't, I can't remember to protect the biohazard container but yeah i definitely think it's easier to defend and i'm debating i'm thinking about i don't know yeah all right bro i'm gonna barricade this door and you get, you get points for putting that stuff up. That's what's cool. So even if you don't... Oh, that, and that's what a trip mine looks like. You just don't go over this. You're not recommend doing that. I thought that was a Star Wars poster. For a second. What else for that double bear? Did you just take... Seriously? I don't know if that's good or not. But I'm going to reinforce that. 
Yeah, these are the more heavier duty stuff that not the ordinary recruit can blow up. That's what the thermat guy, I think is what they call it. Thermite guy can take those down. Oh my. Didn't think someone was here already. Oops, I want to take that down. My bad. Yeah, I got, I think I got someone. I'm gonna pick up more armor. Heal your teammates and stuff, so securing the container. How many bullets I need to reload? C4 ready. Yeah, my armor is low. Can I pick up more armor? No, I cannot. So, uh, thanks, man, for putting that up, because that's that is where they are coming from. So, thank you very much. Oh, you dummy! Oh well. The two guys. Oh yeah, they're trying to blow through that. So that's what it looks like. I'm gonna get down. Why are you like right in front of where I think they're gonna be coming? Doesn't seem very smart, but whatever. Can I put one of those things up? I think so. Oh yeah, once your armor gets low, it doesn't rejuvenate like Call of Duty or Battlefield. So you gotta play this really smart. It is very realistic. Or at least I feel it is. footsteps and there's a guy right there I see his feet I'm gonna try to get his feet yeah you got your feet oh my goodness like I told you not to lay there I knew that's where they're coming from Where do they just breach? Oh my goodness. Where did they just come? come from? That door? Boys. I think I, yep, I got him. Don't know if he's still, no. Oh, they breached both doors. Oh my goodness. All right. The three verse two. Oh my goodness, I did not see him. I have like no grenades or anything to throw, so like I'm really. All right, we just need to hold them for one more second. Yeah, we won this one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So we we got that that one. So. We are coming back, which is good. Let's see. Yeah, I like that loadout. I think I still only have recruit. I don't think I've unlocked anyone else yet, but I haven't checked. I mean, there are some things about this game that are very hard. But, oh yeah, something I think I should tell you guys. I'm pretty sure, I'm not 100% positive about this, but um, I don't think you have a KD until you hit rank 20. So, like, they give you 20 uh, ranks um, to kind of learn the game and 
kind of discover how to play the game, I guess is the term. So, they give you a lot of time to learn how to play this game. So, you know, I would highly recommend going on YouTube, watching, you know, a lot of videos of tips and stuff. I'm trying to give some in my videos, but I'm still learning as well. So, I don't know everything yet. But, it definitely will help you a lot to learn those tips before you get to rank play Ooh, and, there's a guy. and i didn't have time to scan him oh, well. but yeah get all the tips you can because once you get to rank play i'm pretty sure that's when oh and you can propel i think i'm going to do that but once you get to rank play then i'm pretty sure you have a kd so i highly recommend learning like everything you can about the game beforehand because i think it'll just make you a better player so i'm trying to learn as much as i can before i go to rank i don't know if anyone's in there Wait, how do you wrong button sorry i'm still learning some of the buttons i don't know how there we go that's how you go Enter. I have no idea where they are though. Because we did not find the objective beforehand, so it makes it even harder. Which I'm assuming it's going to be downstairs because it's been downstairs for Madrid. Yep, I think. I think. I'm just surprised I'm not seeing any, like, big bar- Okay, they blew one of the barricades. I think I can go th Oh, idiot. I just threw a grenade. I think I'm gonna kill myself. Okay. I thought I had one of those breach charges. There we go. I hit the wrong button. See, look, guys, I don't really know. I don't know everything, you know? I'm learning as we go, but do not blow that up while you're standing there. There we go. Oh, I saw him. I saw him. Oh, my goodness. Oh. You know what I probably should have done? I probably should have breached the door and then gone through another way. I've done that before and actually is pretty. It looks like a halo gun. But no, I mean, that actually is pretty successful. Reloading. So that's probably what I should have done. That gun really looks like a Halo gun. The rifle, the whatever you want to call it. Oh, man, we lost that one. Well, guys, thank you for tuning in. I'm pretty sure that is the last round. Um, Not positive, but I mean, it gives you, yeah, yeah, that was gives you kind of an insight what the game is hope you guys enjoyed it i will probably be doing a lot of these episodes from here on out um so if you guys are enjoying it please let me know down in the comments if you want to see more um i'm enjoying putting them up so if you guys want to see more just let me know in the comments and as always thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one